first step is to remove the seal here. I just pull that off like this. Um, the actual install manual tells you just to put it aside, so you just put it aside like this. Then, if you have a look, it's this this panel here. The side panel is what we we have to remove, and there's um, six clips on that. If you come down to the bottom of the panel here, it's actually easier to uh, just get your fingers behind this, just here, pull it out, and that that'll release the clip. There we go. So that's actually uh, quite easy without having to use any implements or anything like that. And that'll expose the, the clips required, or the bolts required to change out the, the uh, cup holder. So we've removed the side panel and you can see um, on, this, on the back of this panel where it clips in. And you can see the uh, six clip as described in the, in the install manuals or disassembly instructions. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, and six. So if you come in underneath the bottom of this and pull it up and you keep on pulling up the line through, you actually don't need, you actually don't need a, a, a knife or an implement to get under there. So you, you, know, you don't, definitely don't need that tool. So we'll go on to the, um, the next instruction and that is releasing this bolt here so we'll release that bolt uh, we'll screw it's just a plastic panel screw so we'll um remove that um and i just use a um i've just got a quarter inch drive set here which i use with a ratchet small extension get that together So what does that look like? It looks like probably seven mil, I'd take it. Yeah, probably seven, seven mil. Yep, so it's um, a seven mil socket would do it. All right. So I just release the screw. Because, um, so this, this screw on the side here actually um, helps retain this front panel. So this, this whole front panel needs to be unclipped, I believe. So we'll, uh, we'll do that next. So release this and then we'll get on to the, the next step. Okay, the next step is to remove this top panel here. I found the easiest way was to, um, just to get it started, there's, there's clips behind here. You, if you get the knife very carefully up here and lever downwards without damaging this, you could put some tape or maybe around the knife if you wish. But uh, once you clip that out, once you unclip that, um, it, it'll easily, it'll just, it'll peel off. So you will hear some things dropping off behind here. Don't be alarmed. All they are is the little plastic clips that, um, that go on the back of this. So should have these little blue clips here so you're just gonna have to retrieve those they do fall down um, some will make it to the floor and and some won't so you'll just have to uh, find those there's one hiding down there in, inside here so yeah find those clips um, so you can uh, reinstall them okay so most of those little clips do fall uh, in this cavity here which will be able to access when this panel is off <clears throat> um, you may also see that you know these trim clips here might might not disengage from the the dashboard and will need to be reinstalled uh, back in you know back in their positions um so the next step here is to release another two bolts up here again seven millimeters so release those all the way out and then we'll get on to the next step. If you have a look around the side here, just make sure you release these two clips. So there's one, two. So release those clips as you're pulling this off and um, 
that should come out. Okay, once the, the two screws up here are removed, one there, one here, <clears throat> and you've released these side clips. So we've released these side clips here. Um, what's important now, what I found is if you put your fingers out through here and give it a very sharp pull, it'll unclip and you can, and you start on clipping from the top. And the last position to uh, let go will be this bottom right hand corner and you'll see that'll be uh, re relatively easy to get out. Uh, once you've done that, just put this panel in a nice safe place so you don't scratch it up or anything like that. So we'll do that now. <clears throat> and um, go on to the next step. And that's removing these bolts. Just remember these, um, all these plastic screws only require a tension when assembling of about two and a half newton meters. So they're not very much. Um, you don't want to be damaging any any plastic components or um, speed nuts. So yeah, two and a half newton meters. So basically just, just hand tight. So we'll cut the second screw out. There we go, second screw. Oh, and I keep everything in one spot so we don't lose anything. And this pulls out, supposedly. There we go, I see there's a little tongue under here as well. So there's just a little, this little tongue under that. It's probably on a I'd say that's on a little speed clip. So you could get a, a driver behind it or something like that, but that should just pull out like so. There we go. Little speed clip. That was reasonably easy to get that out. Okay, so we've got everything dismantled and now it's just the reversal process. Um, get your cup holder here. So this is the cup holder, which you, you, know, you can get from us at BPT Motorsport. Uh, also, we, we give you some paper instructions as well. Um, so, we've got that here. So, we just place that in here and it should all clip in. There we go, clips in. We're going to have to reinstall the two screws. So, I'll reinstall those. And everything's just a reverse procedure to um, put it all back together I guess now the other thing too just to note now as well these little plastic plastic clips just make sure you disengage them now and try not to lose them so they're a different color so that one there was that one there was like a turquoise color then you got your normal blue color ones there so they're all color coded um, but just make sure that you pull those out. There's another blue one up here that's you know, fallen out in the disassembly process. <clears throat> um, there's another one up here. So if you pull those out now and re reinstall them on the components that you removed, you'll have no problems um, getting this thing back together. Just ensure the operation of, of your cup holder. Make sure it does work. Uh, before you even um, put everything back together and uh, seems to work quite well lovely so um, assembly is just the reverse of disassembly make sure your clips are on there unfortunately I did lose one clip um, so I've had to um, it went somewhere in between in the console there that was my mistake not being careful enough um, but there's a lot of clips on there so if one's missing, probably doesn't matter. Um, so you reverse installation. There we go. So just get it in rough place like this. And then you can go along and clip things in. Give it a nice little push. It's good still. Cup holder is beautiful. It's aligned up well. Nice. So that's done. Reinstall the, the two bolts. 
panel screws here. One, and two. And also the one at the, the side here, don't forget that one. There we go. Um, do them up. I suppose if you've got a um, one of those electric screwdrivers or anything, that's probably uh, probably a good thing. Beats sitting here all day long doing them up. So this little video is uh, something that. I thought I'd do during Christmas holidays because everyone was asking for a video that was in English. So remember, just a couple of uh, couple of newton meters there. Not not much. Doesn't need to be overly tight. If you haven't already done so, the next panel that goes up here, now's a good time to actually uh, install the leather bound ones that BPT Motorsport sell. Um, so we have a, um, a leather bound one, so you don't miss out like the big boys with the premiums and stuff like that. So it's just um, get it trimmed. Double check these screws. Very good. And that nearly concludes putting it back together. It's a bit difficult trying to do it with one hand, one with the camera. Okay, so remember just a two two and a half newton meters if you're if you're using a uh, torque wrench, which I doubt anyone will be. But just lay torque on those. But yeah, this has gone back together quite well. <clears throat> um, and last of all is this. I'm going to be leaving this top panel off because I, I want to put the leather one on there. So that'll be um, staying off until until I um, get the leather one. But the side panel just needs to be clipped on and they, these are pretty good, they're just metal clips in there I guess you can shut that too glove box can be shut get this back into place now of course that needs to go in there like so and just a little bit of a firm push just to get it all back into place Once you've done that, that's uh, pretty much done. The uh, driver's side is the opposite. Um, there is some additional, uh, uh, the lower panel has to be removed on the uh, on the driver's side, but um, that's also in our instruction manual. Don't forget to reinstall your um, weather strip seal. Notice this wasn't very tight. Even um, from the factory, it's not the pinch weld on it isn't isn't the best. It's kind of got the characteristics of a 20-year-old car already. So yeah, just go around pushing that back on. much it should have in should have no excess just go around make sure it's all hammered home well make sure the inside of the, the trim here is good and that the um, the rubber is um, overlapping that and also if you can't remember um, 
the bottom of this trim here does go on the outside so that that does go on the outside of the kick panel trim.